We had a high of 92 today in West Palm Beach. The average is 90, so a couple degrees, not bad. In fact, Vero Beach, only 89, a couple degrees below average. So not too shabby there with some sunshine mixed with a few clouds. And uh, rain chances now pushing pretty much to the west and to the south, picking up more of a easterly and northeasterly flow. So everything's drifting farther down to the south. Pretty big storm over the lake right now. That'll uh, head down to the south, just west of Bell Glade there near Cluiston. Another little shower there just along this boundary. That could spark additional uh, activity here as we go through the evening. But I don't think we're going to see that big push all the way back to the coastline. Temperatures currently not too shabby. 86 degrees in Fort Pierce right now and Vero Beach 88 in West Palm and temperatures tonight will drop down through the 80s this evening. It'll stay real muggy because we don't have the rain to help cool us off like we did before. Temperatures overnight will stay pretty warm. Upper 70s to near 80, probably the low 80s right along the coastline with more of the onshore flow and mid 70s as you head up in the Treasure Coast and inland areas. Highs tomorrow into the low 90s, not too bad. Heat index will still be up there, but with more of an onshore flow, we don't get excessively warm quite yet. We could blow in some showers too. Look at Vipercast. So this is in the overnight hours, early morning, the wee early morning hours here, blowing in some rain on the Treasure Coast here. For the morning commute, we could see a couple of showers blowing on in, even through about lunchtime. Then after lunchtime, all of this shifts westward towards the lake and then the west coast here with this onshore flow. So then that will leave the east coast here for the most part dry. We get the same deal on Friday too with this onshore flow. And then we flip it back to an offshore flow where we get the storms in the afternoon and we bump those rain chances up for the weekend. Hey, this guy out here, been tracking it forever. It's down to a 10% chance, slowly but surely. We're getting rid of the chances for that one, not really expected to develop. And regardless, it's staying in the North Atlantic. Beach and boating forecast, uh, looking good out there. We may pick up a little bit of a northeast swell late tomorrow and early on Friday, so beachgoers be aware of that. Low 90s for highs, 70s to near 80 for lows. We get those afternoon thunderstorms back on Saturday and Sunday, but for now we'll see them in the morning along the coast and inland in the afternoon.